of the tools that you'll need for this job. You need some liquid wrench just to spray those bolts and nuts and make sure they can come loose. Then you'll need a, a breaker bar to, um, to loosen the, the big nuts and bolts at the bottom of the strut uh, with a 22 millimeter socket that helps for that. Then the 14 millimeter socket um, and, um, and a, a ratchet or a breaker bar is for the top of the struts uh, uh, and the top of the engine um, where they come up. You'll also need a hammer just to nudge um, what needs to be nudged. Um, you'll need uh, three different sizes of sockets, uh, 10, 12, and 14, to take off the, um, the brake lines and uh, various stuff at the bottom of the strut that's attached to the strut. Um, then the, uh, the top of the sway bar, um, you'll probably need a five millimeter Allen wrench, as well as a box end, a 14 millimeter wrench to uh, to take that off because as you as you turn to loosen it it's going to spin and the allen key is going to hold it in place so it doesn't spin but you need to remove the, the top of the sway bar which is attached to uh, the strut as well and then you need a torque wrench at the end uh, to torque everything back up to spec um, in my case the uh, top of the strut uh, those are 59 foot pounds and the bottom two bolts, the 22 millimeter ones, are 155 foot pounds. So they've got to be torqued uh, pretty uh, tightly. But uh, this should uh, this should be all that you need uh, to get this job done. What's that you'll need for this job are two new um, strut assemblies. Of course, this is the old one I've taken off, but uh, the new ones uh, come just like that, all assembled if you choose. Otherwise, you need to take out the shock from the inside uh, and then you need um, a spring tool to keep the spring compressed. If you use a complete strut assembly like this, um, it, you just take out the whole unit and you just replace it by putting in the whole new unit as, um, in its place. Okay, so the job today is going to be to take off uh, the strut over here and, um, and in the lower control arm as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove the strut the first thing we'll do is take off this 10 millimeter bolt over here. The next thing we'll do is take off this 12 millimeter nut over here to loosen these cables. And then we'll undo the 14 millimeter nut over here to get the uh, sway bar removed. After that, it's gonna be these two 22 millimeter nuts over here and these bolts to be removed. And then we'll go up um, to the top of the strut and we'll remove the three 14 millimeter nuts over there. So we'll just start by taking off this 10 millimeter over here. The next thing now to take off this 12 millimeter over here. And then this, both of these come off just like that. So now we'll remove the sway bar link up here and uh, because the whole thing actually um, spins we have to just hold it with a five millimeter allen wrench just keep it in place while we take it off. Then the sway bar just gets pushed out the back as easy as that. So the next thing you want to do now is to loosen these two nuts over here. These are 22 mils and um, you need to keep the one end of the bolt uh, stable. So we'll use this, this wrench and uh, I'll put this up against the strut up here just to keep that in place. And then we'll use a, a breaker bar to get this guy loose. Okay. Once you've got it broken loose, then it, you can just use a, a ratchet on it and it'll come right off. There we go. Now I'm going to try and take this 
out of the way as I go to the bottom one. So if the breaker bar doesn't fit in, you need to use the ratchet. And if that doesn't work, then uh, the good old uh, pipe comes in to give us leverage to get that nut loose. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. So now it's just a matter of getting these bolts out and you just wiggle this a little bit. Here we go. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go up top here on the engine and to the top side of the strut and you'll see three nuts over here. Uh, once these three are removed, it's going to fall right down. So you need to grab it at the bottom. I would suggest to use a breaker bar for these because they're on, they'll be on pretty tight. Okay, once they're broken loose, you can just use a ratchet to finish them up. Okay, so once you've loosened those, you crack them loose up there, then uh, just take this uh, out here. So, uh, so it's hanging loose. And then now we'll take out the nuts there and we'll just uh, pull this out from underneath here. Okay, so now you just undo your last nut while you keep it in place with your right hand. Unfortunately, I had to install the new struts and I couldn't film it, but I'll just show you guys what I did. It's pretty easy. This strut goes in from the bottom. You just push it up inside and then bolt it on the top. I'll show you a way to do that. Once you've got the strut in from underneath, you just hold it with one hand underneath the car and then you start putting these three bolts in. These are 14 millimeters and just get them in by hand. Um, you don't need to fasten them too tight at this point in time, but you just want to get these in place so they can hold the strut uh, without it dropping down. Once you have your top nuts in place, but not too tight, so this can actually move a little bit. You come down here and you insert this bolt um, and the bottom one. Uh, you tighten these two. Don't torque them yet, but just get them um, get them in place. And uh, then you go up to the top again. You you torque the top ones. Uh, on my vehicle, those are 59 uh, foot pounds. Um, and then once they're torqued in place, uh, you come down and you torque these two. Um, these two. Uh, for me and my vehicle is 155 foot pounds so they're pretty um, they're pretty tight and then uh, once that's done then you put in your, your sway bar again which is up here this is the five millimeter allen key and the 14 millimeter wrench you fasten the sway bar again and then you start fastening this is the 12 millimeter nut over here start fastening uh, all your brake lines and then right at the top there onto the body is a 10 millimeter again. And once you've got those in place, uh, just put your ABS sensor back uh, on here and um, it just, that just clips on over here. And then once you're done, um, it's, um, it's a job well done.